Uh, for me, my typical day uh, since the lockdown is I wake up in the morning, of course, I do my prayers and everything, and then uh, I go through like, okay, what's happening outside there in the social media world. Uh, I do exercise, right? do a bit of reading. Every evening I have a, a, a program called Let's Talk Ninja People, which I do every evening, which I was doing even before uh, the, the, lock, the lockdown. And of course, attending to my businesses. Uh, for me, the, the lockdown has been, it's the same thing. It's almost my normal day because I work from home. I do my things uh, normally from home. And pleasant surprises, uh, not really. Okay, I'll say because right now uh, I'm here, I'm in lockdown with my children, uh, two young adults, 18 and 21. And I would say lockdown with uh, young adults is actually boring. Everybody's doing their own thing, and so they're not giving you stress. It's not like little children where you have to be running around uh, then. So I'm not together with my spouse this lockdown, and so I don't know what that experience would be like. He is back home in Nigeria. Uh, so, but one other thing that I find because of where I am is actually sharing toilets and that's not even because of lockdown, that's because of uh, where I am right now, the flat you are in, you have one toilet for three adults and so back home is something you're not used to, everybody has its own bedroom to use and then so it's just that on the funny side, like sometimes you need to knock on the door, oh yeah, hurry up, I'm going, so that's a bit of uh, that. Uh, uh, well, for me, disappointment would be on the national level, uh, the rate at which Nigerians aren't able to unite on certain issues, even something that affects every one of us, like the COVID-19. Uh, it, it, it seems not to be bring, bring out the best in us. It seems to bring to be bringing out the, the vileness in our nation, the, the worst in us, and the inhumanity, and the inhumane behavior. And then you're beginning to think, what kind of people are those who actually inhabit uh, that? Uh, uh, geographical territory called uh, Nigeria. Uh, for me, the lockdown is, is absolutely necessary. Uh, uh, but then uh, the thing is that how are you doing this lockdown? Of course, you have to look at the situation that 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 we have. And the thing is, the, for me, the lockdown, whether whether the government does a lockdown or the government does it, the lockdown will come. Because by the time people start dropping dead, whether you like it or not, everyone will be forced into a lockdown. I mean, so that's, that's just the thing. When I see people trying to explain the fact, oh, you know, we are too poor to have a lockdown. And I feel, why is the outrage? Why are we so okay to say that we are too poor to have a lockdown, but we are not having that conversation of why are we this poor to have a lockdown when we have no business being this poor to have a lockdown? I think these are some of the, uh, uh, the, the things that need to be be uh to that need to be uh addressed so for me it's it's necessary the lockdown is necessary but then different measures should be put in place for example whatever we do can we like sort of like like have like ma uh, neighborhood markets or shops that can open so people can buy things can we have a situation whereby uh people can go to market on on the rotation rotational basis so you have this this set of people so that we can have that widespread uh place we can have the social distancing we can have the uh, hand washing going on we can have so not everybody going to be at the market all at the same time because food is very important you can't put people on lockdown and not give them food both uh human food and also uh, animal food uh, feed because people have to eat, people have to survive uh, on that. So, and in the meantime, look at what is government doing to ensure that everyone is taking care, care of. These are the questions that we, we we should be we should be asking. Oh my goodness! The first thing I'm gonna do is to fly, find a way, get in, just rush up to my husband and just wrap my hands around him and hold him for one straight hour without he's not gonna move just hold him and know that oh my goodness we are safe we're together i mean it's really been tough um uh uh, it's 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 absolutely uh been tough uh on me and 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 my husband and we just did our uh 22nd wedding anniversary on the 17th of uh, april and uh, not being together for the first time since we've been married for 22 years on our anniversary was quite a bit hard but luckily i thought i was going to be depressed on that day and cry all day but uh, surprisingly i didn't I, I, I there were so many things that kept me uh busy uh that day and so here here we are